Let me show you how I saved up over 90% of my Google Drive storage space without having to have deleted anything. Digital storage is expensive and we need more and more. By compressing video files, for example, it's very simple to save 50 to 80% of the storage space they would otherwise use without having to compromise their quality. For archiving purposes, it's perfect, for example. So let's see how to compress videos and save storage space on Google Drive or on other cloud storage services. We're gonna use the Uniconverter's compressor tool for this task. It has an AI compressing feature that can achieve a much more efficient compressing than regular compressing. So download it from videoconverter.wondershare.com if you don't have the software yet. Once you have the Uniconverter up and running, find the compressor tool in the video section of the tools. You may import multiple video files here at the same time. Now, the next step is the most important one. Click on the compression settings here. And in the next window, switch over to the AI compression mode. This mode performs a much heavier compression while maintaining the best possible quality. So simply put, the size of the video will be a fraction of the original one, but the quality won't change drastically. This is why this method is perfect for saving storage space on video files. Now the next thing you need to select is the compression percentage. With the AI compression mode, this isn't as evident as with regular where 50% means that the file size is going to be 50% of the original size. That's why with the AI compression mode as opposed to regular compression, you won't get an estimated output file size either. A 50% compressing will result in a 2-3% of its original size but comes with a noticeable drop in quality. Therefore, based on my experience, using a 75% compression with the AI compression mode will give you a small file size with the original quality maintained. Finally, choose an output folder and click on compress all. The process will take some time based on the amount of videos you're compressing and their original lengths and sizes, and of course, based on your computer's hardware. But when it's finished, delete the original files from your Google Drive, make sure to delete them also from the trash, and then upload the compressed versions. As you can see, I saved up an enormous amount of storage space without having to part with any files. So do you think it's useful? Do you think it's helpful? If you did find it helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like as well. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, guys.